We have a really cool project we're doing right now. Our friend Amanda is a jewelry designer and she's asked us to design her showroom. And one of the key pieces to any showroom we feel is a grand welcome table, which she needs. Mm -hmm. So we've designed an eight board farmhouse table and it is going to be awesome. But wait, it's not just a welcome table. We designed it with the same dimensions as a dining table so you can put it in your home. So grab your tools and let's get to work. Here's all you need to build this eight board farmhouse table. Three two by 12s, two two by 10s, a two by eight, and two two by fours. All right, Ash, what are we doing first here? The first step is to plank the tabletop, and this is super easy because we're starting with the big guys, and this is just gonna be three two by 12s. Now, we did, I did go ahead and rip both sides so that we would have nice, smooth, straight edge, edges. I ripped them at Ten and a half inches wide, so. But you don't have to remember that. You can download the free plans. Just click the link below and it'll give you all the measurements. So because these are two by 12s, they're really big. We're also gonna use a line of glue, just a thin line of glue between each of our joints here before we plank these. We've drilled one and a half inch pocket holes into two of those boards. You can check the plans to make sure where to put those pocket holes. Hey Ash, how do you know what size pocket holes to put in each board? That's a great question. We actually get that question a lot. We build with mostly two by boards and one by boards, and you're always going to set it, set your Craig jig to the thickness of the board, and that's either gonna be three quarters of an inch or one and a half inches, and we're using two by boards, which are one and a half inches, so we set our Craig jig to one and a half inch pocket hole screws. What she said. Now we're lining those up, adding a line of wood glue on each side, and attaching them together using two and a half inch pocket hole screws. Make sure everything is nice and flush. Get your sister to help you if you need a little clamp. Shanty clamp. <laughs> this is what a shanty clamp is. You gotta put a little muscle into it. Yeah, it's not doing anything. <laughs> Tabletop, done. <Yeah! laughs> so now it's time to build the bases. Do you wanna move this out of the way? Oh Lord, here we go. It's not any heavier it's than- It's a beast. That's pretty good. All right, next step is to build the legs. And those are gonna be two two by tens next to each other. We've already drilled two and a half inch pocket holes into each end. So we're gonna add a thin line of wood glue to the inside of the two by tens. And then we're Thanks. going to attach them together with two and a half inch pocket hole screws. I have a good question. What? How much was the lumber for this? 60 or 65 bucks in lumber for a table. For a table. That's incredible. All right, now we're going to add the decorative. Now we're going to add the decorative trim pieces, and these are just two by fours that I ripped the edges on, and then I cut a 30 degree miter cut at one end. And what these are going to do is give a shape to our legs, just like that. And then we'll have them at the other end down here, just like that. Okay, so this is a bottom piece. Okay, top piece. Um, and then this is a bottom. The pocket no, I, I have an answer. I have four. <laughs> okay. All right, so we are attaching these pieces using a line of wood glue. And then we will use two and a half inch pocket hole screws through these pocket holes that we made at the top of the larger boards and into those decorative trim pieces. All right, you guys enjoy watching this being built. It's gonna be a surprise to both of us is how it looks when it gets done because I haven't seen it finished. It's all been in my head. These are done, now it's time to add the bases to the feet. So we're gonna mark center on each of these bases. That will be one and a half inches. And then we're going to set it on top of the base. So now we're attaching both leg bases using our aprons, and these are two by fours that run flush with the top of those leg bases. They're also flush with the sides. We're attaching those with two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. So this is a modified plan, and didn't you design the original around something? Yeah, the original I kind of designed to look like a pew bench but it's like a coffee table bench. And then I was looking at it one day and I thought that would make a really cool farmhouse table. And we've never done, a, I've never seen a farmhouse table that's a style like this. I feel like this is something, it looks like something you would find. Somewhere, yeah. Like in an old vintage shop, um, like an old treasure, but definitely would cost more than $60. Right. <laughs> so, okay, this is done. 
can look at my plans, but it looks kind of small. I'm having a hard time seeing it. You want my glasses? Oh, thanks. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's 10 inches from the top and 10 inches from the bottom, and then we're going to center it in the middle of the two boards. Got it. I'm gonna hold it while Ash attaches it. This is her table, I don't wanna take, I don't wanna steal her thunder. All right, I'm running a line of wood glue right where we're gonna put the runner. I'm still holding the board. And I'm going to attach it to the ends with two and a half inch pocket hole screws. While my lovely assistant holds it in place. That's right, say it again. While my lovely assistant holds it in place. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Again, we're gonna fill the pocket holes with wood filler and paint it and you'll never see them. Now we're attaching the base to the tabletop, so just lift the entire thing up. You might want a friend for that part. Set it on top of your tabletop. Everything's upside down. See how it's kinda wonky right now, guys? Just wait until you see what those pocket hole screws will do for this. To attach the base to the top, we've already drilled one and a half inch pocket holes around every piece that's attaching to the top and we're going to attach them with two and a half inch pocket hole screws. I'm gonna shanty clamp. This is like an extreme shanty clamp right now. <gasps> She's taking one for the team, really. I really am. All right, guys. Remember how Whitney showed you that it was a little bit wonky where the apron was meeting the tabletop? Well, now that we've put those pocket hole screws in, it sucked it together and now it's super smooth. That's the right way to say it too, it sucked it together. It's technical. Final step is to add the side decorative pieces. Those are gonna be really easy. We're gonna attach them with wood glue and two inch brad nails. The reason we're doing that is to make it look like this runner is coming out the other side and going through those legs. It's an optical illusion. It's magic, magical. Now look, looks like this runner goes all the way through the leg. Hey, guess what? We're done! The flipping over of the table is probably my favorite it's part of too. building a table. Super light. <laughs> yeah, totally. What do you think? I think, I think we did a good job. It's pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Stinking pretty. I love it. Sign of every good table. It can hold two Shaney sisters. That's right. All right, now before adding our finish, we're gonna fill all these pocket holes. And we're gonna paint the base, stain the top, but you can do anything that you'd like. Eight boards, guys, under $65. We built this guy in under probably an hour. And it looks like we found it somewhere and paid a lot of money for it. That's my favorite thing about it. And this is gonna be an amazing welcome table for Amanda's shop. I know, I actually can't think of anything more welcoming than this. You're right. Yep. all the other pieces that we built for Amanda's shop renovation, make sure you subscribe below so that you can watch everything.